Some of you are probably looking forward to finally settling into a stable environment after having to move schools in the height of your middle school for various reasons. However, just a few months after barely settling, settling into high school, you were hit with a pandemic. Then came online school, vaccinations, masks, testing online school, in-person school, days in and days out, and the list of chaotic moments just seemed to collide one after the other. Fast forward to September 2022, things began to settle and your hopes of some semblance of normalcy returned. Just when you thought that life couldn't get any worse, your captain and uncle, your year head, your beloved Miss Burroughs retired. But it gets even more interesting. You found out that that woman, oh yes, I heard some of the sayings, was going to be your year head. I heard about some of the comments, but I'm happy that once you got to know my standards and soon recognized that your success was my most important goal, we developed a bond I will never forget. How can I forget the many days you came to my room and stayed for an entire lunch period while I enjoyed your tea? Right, Samaya, Tequila, Sarai, Anaya, and Devon. And the list goes on. Sometimes I recall Ms. Year will say, oh my goodness, Edward Adams, these children will not give you a break. The same one. Class of 2023, in my 30 plus years of being an educator, I have never seen a group of students having to navigate, navigate such a tumultuous educational journey. But you did that. You survived, you thrived, you persevered, and you overcame. So today, if anyone tells you that you are not a champion or warrior, do not believe it. Just take a look inside, dig deep, and remember the skills, strategies, and people who have brought you this far. I believe that many of you have proven that challenges, the challenges that we have experienced during this pandemic did not define us, but only served to empower us. I have also witnessed a resilient, tenacious, and determined spirit from you, which I hope will serve you, will serve as an example, sorry, and a beacon of hope to many of those who will follow in your footsteps here at Cedar Ridge Academy and Bermuda. Over the past four years, Ms. Boros and I have challenged you to make decisions that will positively impact your future. We have asked you to make a difference in the lives of your fellow peers, to be a team player, embrace your achievements, reflect on your disappointments, and overcome your challenges. We trust that when the going gets tough, you will know that it's time to reflect on those pillars, those five pillars, of success and always choose to have a new growth experience. Before I close, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our village. To the parents who have supported us through all these years, I thank you. I thank you for trusting Cedar Ridge Academy with your most valuable possession, your children. To my amazing S Forces team, Deputy Kanye Steed, S4 Councilor Mrs. Winifred Simmons, Resource Teacher Dr. Jean Thomas Jeremy, Educational Therapist Mr. Eric Bean, Head of Student Services Mrs. Clenda Lowe, College and Career Counselor Ms. Angelita Alderich, Principal Caesar, Deputy Principals Christopher Swan, Timothy Souza, and Active Deputy Principal Holden, thank you for your unwavering support. To the phenomenal S4 advisors and teachers here at Cedar Bridge Academy, Thank you for putting up with me and my children. Special mention must be given to my right hand God, Mr. Calvin Hill. I know at times we didn't make it easy for you, me with my demands, and the students who made you feel like pulling out your hair at times. To Mrs. Show, both our S2 year head and crumb coordinator, thank you for putting up with me as we worked so hard to give our students a most memorable experience for their prom last Saturday. To my sister from another mother and colleague, Miss Tiffany Fox, thank you for always stepping in and having my back. 
Tonight and Friday will not be such a success had it not been for your hard work and dedication to your CBA family. To the Seymours, a special and big thank you for your unwavering support of all my ideas and projects. Last but certainly not least, I would like to express heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to our support staff, Ms. Sasha Mancini, our accounts officer, CBA technicians and maintenance department, the library team, the PTSA, thank you for your support. To everyone who has contributed in any way to the success of tonight's event and the students over the years, I wish to thank you and pray that your blessings will be bountiful. Note that your support of the class of 2023 and the S4 team has not gone unnoticed. Class of 2023, our journey has been one filled with celebrations and obstacles. Although there have been moments of disappointment, I am proud of your ability to overcome them. I am thankful for the opportunity to have inspired, nurtured, and supported you this past year. As I bid you goodbye, I wish you a successful future and the best life that God has for you. I pray that you will walk in your purpose and achieve your goals. It has truly been a pleasure to serve as your year in. Ms. Burroughs and I are confident that you will lean on many of the life lessons and skills that Cedar Ridge Academy has imparted to you over the past four years. I know that you will continue to represent your alma mater and your families well wherever you go. As you embark on this next chapter of your lives, be courageous in the face of adversity. Be responsible and lead with integrity. Most importantly, be kind and compassionate to yourself and others. So Spartans of Bermuda, and if any of you have seen the movie 300, I've watched it a thousand times with my husband, you'll know what I mean by Spartans, so you can look it up and all of my guys who like those kind of movies, 300, congratulations to you. Go out and conquer Bermuda and the world. I love you and I wish you all the best. God bless. Edwards Adams.
most importantly, good evening to the students of the class of 2023. You made it. Yes. We are now ready to recognize and celebrate you and your achievements with the presentation of certificates. I would invite students, the first five students, to join us, please. and friends, they will be called alphabetically in case you want to get your cameras ready for pictures. Our first recipient is Ashani Abdullah for Academic Merit in Quarter 4. And Mika Anderson, subject prizes for A2 Spanish to AP Calculus to exploring femininity, personal finance, preserving our heritage, as well as principal honors for quarter four and principal honors for the overall the entire year. Daniel is here. Daniel Chadwick. Hallelujah. 
Let's congratulate Daniel for such a crisis for exploring family living and media communications as well as honors for the time.
Asadi Landing, NCCER Electrical 2, as well as Academic Merit in Quarter 4. Alera Martin, subject prizes for ceramics and drawing and painting, as well as academic merit and honors overall. Okay. And Shine Art was here either, subject prizes for ceramics and keyboarding, as well as honors in quarter four. Congratulations, Shine. Ceramics and Academic Merit in Quarter 4. <laughs> Jesea Mascarenas, Subject Prizes for Maintenance and Light Repair 2, as well as NCCER Electrical 1 and NCCER Core Certification. Kayla McCarthy, Subject Prize for Economic Geography, Principal Honors in Quarter 4, and Principal Honors Overall for our entire <laughs> Then Mello, Subject Prizes for Keyboarding 1, Preserving Our Heritage, as well as Principal Honors in Quarter 4, and Principal Honors in the entire S4 year. Subject prize for ceramics and drawing, paint, and printed works, drawing and painting as well, and academic merit, quarter four, and honors. Tori and Millwood Thomas, subject prize in ceramics, employability skills, and media communications. I am a
GCSE Art and Design 1 subject prize, quarter 4 academic merit, overall honors. <laughs> Nyla West, subject prize, calculus, NCCER Electrical 2, photography, high honors quarter 4, overall principles honors, and NCCER 4 certification. Ciara Whitehead, Discovery Food and Nutrition Subject Prize, Health Issues, Quarter 4 Academic Merit, and Overall High Honors. Nathan <laughs> Wilson, Subject Prizes AP Biology 2, English 4, Physical Education 2, String Ensemble 1, Quarter 4 High Honors, Overall Principal Honors. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this segment of our program has been dedicated to those students who will receive either an award or scholarships. We're going to begin our scholarships and awards. I'm going to ask for the PPSA president to join me on stage.
The next award is the City Bridge Academy Most Outstanding Male Athlete and nominee for the Denton Hurdle Award. This award this evening is being given to Kisai Kim. Kisai This young man was also nominated for the Denton Hurdle Award. He was not uh, one of the nominees. And we congratulate him. <laughs> Senior British Academy Most Outstanding Female. None other than the other Miss Bell. <laughs> he said. He said. her country, her family, and none other than Cedar Bridge Academy, a student of excellence in mathematics. Cedar Bridge Academy Male Sportsman Award is awarded to the graduating student who demonstrates a positive attitude while participating on a CBA sports team. This year, we are giving this award to two students, Jason Simons and Mr. Wolf. Congratulations, young man. These are our stellar sportsmen. We look forward to hearing about them in the future. They represented Cedar Bridge well. Leadership 
tenacity, vision, and an ability to soar high with a strong desire to fulfill their goals. Recipient, Amber Smith Butcher. The Dual Enrollment Award, Perseverance Award, is given to a student for continued effort and perseverance in the Dual Enrollment Program for over two years. You are celebrated for your efforts, dedication, and consistency. This award is being given to Dante Burke. Volunteer service. 
As you know, that you may not know that for graduation requirements, students are expected to complete 80 hours. This student has surpassed hundreds of hours of community service. Najla Campbell. Cedar Ridge Academy Co-Curricular Award, awarded to the student with the highest number of co-curricular hours. This student is Amber Smith Butcher. Cedar Ridge Academy Citizenship Award, presented to a graduate who has served the school in exemplary manner for a minimum of 18 to 24 months. The awardee of this award is Torian Milkwood Thomas. Family Foundation. This year, three awards have been awarded in the amount of $3,000 to students with financial need or product of a single parent household who will be attending the Bermuda College in fall 2023. Our three recipients are Malay Smith, <laughs> and Sierra. Good evening, family, friends, and most importantly, the Cedar Ridge Academy graduating class of 2023. My name is Sakina Allen, and I, and I am a team member of a small company called iClean Dental Products. iClean Dental Products is aimed by a legal dental hygienist with over 24 years of experience by a lady named Alicia Russell. Our mission statement is to effectively educate each patient into having better liberal or health by providing both knowledge and the correct tools, one to brush at a time. We feel this mission statement fits in practically as you, the graduating class of 2023, move into young adulthood while taking more responsibility with your personal and, and oral health. We invite you in your personal time to reach that child important having a clean mouth is not only for your teeth and gums, but for your overall health. This year, I Clean Dental wanted to do something special for the graduating City Bridge Academy students of excellence. With that said, we decided to give 57 students from all programs with a dental gift bag. We hope that as you move into early adulthood, it is impressed upon you just how important your dental health is. It is also our hope that this can become a regular event 
in the near future, we would have secured funding to eventually get every graduating public high school student with a task get paid. We are more than grateful to have the opportunity to play a small role in your graduating ceremony, and we wish all of you much success in your bright futures. At Icon Dental, we have a saying, brush in the morning to keep your friends, and brush at night to keep your teeth. Congratulations, class of 2021. May all the students who have a red and white gift bag please stand. Thank you and congratulations.
The recipient of this award is Ms. Sunea Lam. I'm here with 
Frank Stay Young, to present the 2023 EY Values Award. The UI Global Corporate Responsibility Strategy aims to positively impact one million lives by supporting the next generation, working with impact entrepreneurs, and advancing environmental stability. At EY, we are proud to be people who lead from the front, being inquisitive, learning our curiosity, and acting with integrity every day. We don't just focus on who you are now, but who you can become. We are transformative leaders, transformative leaders who are purpose-driven, future-focused, and bring out the best of others and ourselves. At the foundation of our high-performing culture are our core values, which are people who demonstrate integrity, respect, teaming, and inclusiveness, people with energy, enthusiasm, and the chorus to lead. And lastly, people who build relationships based on doing the right thing. The 2023 EY Values Award, including a monetary token, goes to the graduating student who most reflects these values and is a positive contributing member to the school and larger community, serving as a role model for, other, for others. We are proud to recognize you and wish you all the best as you embark on the next phase of your career journey. Congratulations to the 2023 Ernst Young Values Award recipient in IOS. The Charter Professional Accountants of Bermuda Outstanding Student Award, awarded to the graduate who demonstrates scholastic achievement, leadership, school spirit, and community service. The award is being given to Kisei Val. Congratulations to the class of 2023. 
Ruhayat Belko, our committed to the youth of Bermuda. And today I would like to present the award to the graduates who had the highest accumulative GPA for four years in high school. And this is no other than Mbika. <laughs> Good evening, the family, friends of the graduating class of 2023. Congratulations to all the graduates and award recipients of the class of 2023. You all are students of excellence. We are here to present the Nakino Crichton Hartshaw Award. Nakino Crichton, a former Cedar Bridge Academy student who tragically passed away a decade ago while still enrolled as a student, Nakino is remembered for his remarkable qualities. He was also known for his loving and caring nature, always willing to support and assist his peers. Additionally, Nakino was celebrated for his athleticism and displaying his dedication and talent to various sports. His outstanding character and contribution to the school community have been honored through the establishment of this award. This year, the deserving recipient of this, this esteemed accolade is a student who embodies the same compassionate and supportive spirit that Nikina exemplified. The recipient of this award is none other than Nathan Wilson. <laughs> Sigma Psi Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, 
I'm pleased to present the 2023 Dr. Norma Jean Hendrickson Award to Ms. Shamaj Rayman. <laughs>
Good evening, everybody. Um, can we just give one more loud round of applause for these graduates? Congratulations to you. Um, without an education, you will lose your teeth. All right. I'm not going to go into detail um, today, but in the future, if my um, fellow Morehouse brother would like to invite me to be the keynote speaker, I can. But just remember that without your education, you lose your teeth. Um, I'm here today to present the foundation of hope. Uh, book Award. Uh, this award is being given in honor of the late Reverend Dr. Wilbur Lowe Jr. This award is given to deserving students who will be attending Bermuda College to assist with school books. Um, the year is 2010 and I'm at Warhouse College and I am studying for my dreaded accounting exam. Okay, if any business majors out there, prepare yourself. Okay. Um, after studying for several hours, I received a call from my sister-in-law to tell me that my father had suddenly passed. Okay. Throughout that, um, I received an immense amount of support, um, firstly from my mother, Mrs. Hooploo, um, from my immediate family, friends, um, and friends of the family. Um, ultimately, um, I wasn't able to take that exam the next day. But thankfully to Dr. Dorenda Green, who was able to later um, proctor that exam for me, and I was able to, to persevere and, um, and pass that exam. Um, we, we give this award, and before I go on, my name is Jason Lowe, by the way. <laughs> my name is Jason Lowe, and I also attended Cedar Ridge Academy. So I, I've been where you are. And unfortunately, I didn't graduate from Cedar Ridge Academy, but I did graduate. Um, but we give this award, um, you know, after my father had passed, we saw my mother continue to remain strong in giving um, and in charity, um, ensuring that people had and ensuring that we had, you know, as a family, seeing us through that difficult time. So um, it is in that spirit that uh, we'd like to give this award um, to two recipients, and those recipients of the Foundation of Hope Book Award this year will be Riley Edwards and Demetrio Douglas. Recreational and spiritual well-being of its members. 
The Jamaican Association Bermuda is passionate about education and we are honored to have this opportunity to contribute to this student's continued success. This student demonstrated diligence, tenacity, discipline, and these are just a few things to demonstrate De to demonstrate the attributes that will help chart your path to future success. Being a public school graduate and being of Jamaican descent, I know the difficulties it, that come with securing financial security. We would like to also offer special commendation to Ms. Keisha Henry, instructional teacher leader of the mathematics department, who envisioned our association offering a special award to top performing students of Jamaican descent. Thank you for sharing your vision with us. Special thanks to Ms. Rhonda Edwards Adams, as four year coordinator who endorsed this initiative, and thanks to the administrative staff at Cedar Ridge Academy who have afforded us this opportunity to celebrate accidents. On behalf of the Jamaican Association Bermuda executive team, I would like to extend a heartfelt congratulations to Ms. Ambika and Good evening, everyone. Let's give all of our young people a round of applause. 
as we are coming to the end of this amazing ceremony and as we recognize the class of 2023, I just want to take this opportunity to present two more awards. The first award I will present this evening is a principal citation. This evening, I would like to recognize a student who has worked hard to support Cedar Bridge Academy. There is a saying, it is not how you begin, but how you end. This student has struggled academically throughout the time at Cedar Bridge Academy, but in the final year has met success. This evening, I want to recognize this student for never giving up, for always having a positive attitude, and for putting Cedar Bridge Academy first. This student is so invested in this school that he comes wherever he is called. When I reflect on the recent Ask for a Prank Day, this is the one student who painted his bike pink. I want to take this opportunity just to acknowledge an amazing student of accidents, a student who we would always remember at Cedar Bridge Academy, Josiah Mastrovani. <laughs> so many amazing students of the class of 2023. However, I can only select one student. Change was the theme for this school year. Change, choose having a new growth experience. This evening, I am here to present this award to a student who has amplified change from the first day they entered Cedar Bridge Academy. From day one, this student had a goal to be a student leader, to have a high GPA, to try the best at whatever they did. But more importantly, this student has represented Cedar Bridge Academy in every arena possible, whether it was sports, academics, community service, I could go on and on and on. But I will say, this student has been a true ambassador for Cedar Bridge Academy. Some adults would say there's a saying, every good man needs a good woman. In this life, every good student needs good parents to stand behind them. And because of the support of this student's parents, this student has become a true leader amongst our Cedar Bridge Academy community and within our Bermuda community. Tonight, I also want to say this. We have a lot of students who come to our doors and a lot of families that have many different struggles. But the goal at Cedar Bridge Academy is to support these families. But it is even better when the student is able to take the support and make it work for them. Earlier this year, I remember this student and the parents came to speak to me because they felt the student was overlooked for a position. But I reminded them that success will come in many different ways. Ladies and gentlemen, this year ends 20 years that I have been in education. I have worked in Bermuda and I have worked overseas. I have seen many students and many parents come through my pathway. However, when I think of this student, a student who challenges me sometimes, when I think of this student, a leader in Bermuda, when I think of this student, someone who we have cultivated at Cedar Bridge Academy, I am proud this evening to present this award to a student who has made it happen has had their struggles, but is here this evening and who has turned out and represented none other than Kaisei Bell. <laughs> <laughs>
Good evening, everyone. I'm to thank you. On behalf of the principal and the phenomenal Action Board team and the class of 2023, I wish to extend sincere thanks for your unwavering support by grace months with your presence and sharing in this experience this evening. To the chairman of the Board of Governors of Cedar Bridge Academy, Mr. Jason Lee, I extend a hearty thank you for sparing time from your busy schedule to support us and share on this occasion. To all of our corporate donors, we thank you for your generous contribution, investment in our students. We are confident that in a few years' time, they will be your employees or impact Bermuda in a meaningful way. Thank you to everyone else who has supported our students on this journey. To the parents, grandparents, family members, and friends, thank you for sharing this experience with you, with us, whether it's in the audience or via our Facebook or YouTube platform. Finally, to the developed advisors, teachers, staff, and extended CBA family, tonight would not be possible without your hard work and investment over the past four years with our students. For this, we thank you and appreciate you. May God continue to bless you, and I now invite you to enjoy some highlights and tributes to the class of 2023. Good evening. Greetings, class of 